My name's Rowan Molnar. I'm a specialist anaesthetist and a pilot. I do anaesthesia because I have a passion for healthcare and a passion for patients. My patients are very vulnerable because when they're having their surgery, they're asleep and they're not able to care for themselves. So my job is to care for them in the operating theatre. I've been a doctor since uh, 1984, uh, 85, so uh, I might have done over 100 medical evacuations uh, in various jobs and in various positions over the years. Well, my mission is predominantly to look after the business of the Australian government and its healthcare uh, programs and to provide uh, both emergency and elective services to uh, its clients. But more on top of that, uh, there's the uh, issue and the, the goal of capacity building. And, to that end, I worked voluntarily in the Port Moresby Public Hospital training anaesthetists uh, in how to give anaesthesia. And the surgeons that I work with also are in the Port Moresby, come with me to the Port Moresby Public Hospital to train uh, trainee surgeons there in Papua New Guinea on how to do various specialised forms of surgery. My role in uh, Papua New Guinea is Director of Anaesthesia at uh, a private hospital which has been set up for by the Australian Government for the purposes of the uh, Australian Federal Police and the Australian High Commission. We've also uh, uh, expanded the business to deal with other Australian uh, expatriates up there. It's a full service position and I'm running the anaesthesia department. Well, I'm also uh, involved in uh, running the aeromedical evacuations. Uh, predominantly this has been from other parts of the country but also up to uh, the Manus Island Detention Centre where the uh, refugees who need health care or uh, have injuries need to be transported back to either Port Moresby or Australia. I started flying as a young doctor with the Royal Flying Doctor Service uh, up in the northwest of West Australia in Derby and uh, I became very uh, good friends with the pilots who started teaching me some basics of aviation and uh, I did a lot of flying up there and that's what really got me into it, the culture of flying. I've always done some aeromedical evacuations and taken on a lot of small plane charters over the years but it wasn't until uh, my kids grew up and I had some extra time to, uh, to focus on uh, the lessons and the learning that uh, I took up uh, flying which was a couple of years ago. It took me uh, almost a year to get my licence and now I just fly uh, recreationally to keep up my uh, hours and uh, take up my family and friends uh, for flights around the area. When I'm flying up there by myself, uh, it's, a, it's another world. I'm looking down at uh, a world of uh, everyone going about their business, but I'm in my own little plane uh, cruising uh, around the Yarra Valley and around Melbourne. Flying is not a very difficult skill to learn and it's not a very difficult skill to perform, but it does require 100% concentration. Uh, you cannot afford to lose concentration or to uh, have judgment lapses because the plane is very unforgiving and uh, soon comes to grief. So it requires all my attention on uh, maintaining smooth flight for myself and my passengers. And if I uh, happen to deviate from that, the consequences can be uh, very, very serious. So I can't think about anything else when I'm up there except flying and watching outside and enjoying the scenery. All the worries of medicine and the world have to be put on the back burner while I uh, concentrate on my flying. In terms of plans for the future, I'd like to continue my uh, outreach, uh, whether that's in Papua New Guinea or Australia, I really can't say. But in terms of building capacity and helping people and training and giving education, that will always be a big part of my practice because uh, just uh, purely dealing with patient care and not contributing to medicine and the community as a whole is a very narrow uh, way, a very narrow focus for medicine. <laughs>